Hey everyone, welcome to this new moon sidereal astrology forecast for the new moon on Thursday, July 28th, 2022. All right, so we have a new moon in Cancer. If you're expecting me to say Leo just then, be sure to check out the link down below for more information. We are using the visible sky on this channel called True Sidereal Astrology, and it does change the signs from mainstream astrology. All right, so new moon in Cancer, the crab. It's a time of the year to connect to our emotions, our feelings, our roots, essentially. Uh, Cancer is all about that creating a protective environment for ourselves and others in order to connect to the softer, the more personal, the more emotional, you know, uh, elements of life. And so great time of building these foundations, connecting to our body, our feelings, and perhaps in our external world, you know, home, family, personal relationships, Great, great time to set intentions for this, for this next lunar month coming out of this. Now, the new moon will be opposite Pluto, so there is deeper energy involved still. This was the conjunction with Pluto we had during the last full moon uh, two weeks ago. So still good to be facing fears a bit. Um, You know, uh, the shadow of life is getting reflected back to us still with this opposition to Pluto. And so it is good to, you know, be willing to face fears, empower self, dive deep with things, Uh, in a way that feels empowering and transformative. Uh, But that's a more of a minor aspect. I mean, it's an important aspect, but it's just not uh, that close in orb. It's about uh, eight degrees, uh, which is quite spaced out for an opposition. And so we could argue that the more important aspect here is actually a trine to Jupiter. So trines to Jupiter is very easy, benefic kind of energy. Um, So here we could be feeling a bit optimistic about future things, about new perspectives on life and a great time for expanding our mind and expanding sometimes our literal horizons as well. But uh, Jupiter is going to be stationed during this, about to go retrograde, and so it is good to start to re-examine some of that worldview as well. Okay, so quite a straightforward new moon. Let's go ahead and take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. Alrighty, so here is the chart for the new moon. So the exact time of the new moon will be around 1400 Eastern time of the Americas on Thursday, July 28th. Uh, If you wanna make that calculation for wherever you are in the world, we we are using topocentric, which is using using the surface of the earth. And so the, the times do change depending not only on time zone, but also geographic location. But around that uh, 1400 Eastern time of the Americas, and for all intents and purposes, uh, the days surrounding Thursday. Okay, um, and as you can see here, we are using the uneven constellations, the actual size of the constellations, which really changes the signs from mainstream astrology. And so, if you're expecting this new moon video to be on Leo for this July 28th, uh, definitely check out the link down below for more information uh, on using the true size of the constellations called true sidereal astrology. Okay, so new moon, time of a reset, time of as we approach the new moon ending, right? We are ending the current lunar cycle. The new moon is also the lowest energy uh, time of the lunar cycle, and especially approaching it, you know, it's very much like the Pisces energy. For those of you familiar with Pisces, the Pisces is the last constellation of the zodiac, and it's very symbolic of this ending phase approaching it, being that of uh, turning inward a little bit, releasing, clearing, creating space to see what life is blossoming for us, what seeds are being planted for us in this new lunar month. So there is that more deterministic side of being more receptive and seeing what does get planted here, what life, what the universe is helping us start to develop, but also a great time of setting intentions, of course, and that's the free will side of it. So any intentions you do want to set, great time to do that around the new moon. So with Cancer, the crab, you know, the crab, if you look at it, I think the reason this Uh, symbol was chosen is we have a crab you know that has this very hard shell and very soft insides and uh, this is very symbolic of cancer Uh, the cancer energy of life is very much about creating that protective environment that shell if you will in order for us to connect to those softer elements of life 
and to create that protective environment you know for ourselves and others and so um, you know the ancients a lot of uh, ancient uh, literature here considers cancer to be the gateway of the soul or the root of the soul or the entry point of the soul into this life and as you can see in the chart itself you know this is the bottom of the chart and so we could say this is like where things grow from and in order to cultivate other areas of life we have to have good foundations right we have to have in this case a good connection to our soul to our bodies to our temple right if you consider our bodies our, our temple right this is our home and uh, you know so creating that protective environment there but also this could be manifested externally as well so a great time of connecting to home or to family right these fortifications these roots these foundations in life and creating that protective environment in order for us to be able to connect to the softer elements right because we don't want to just let everything out there's no security there's no privacy we need privacy we need security in order to healthfully connect to these personal elements so cancer is a great time for seeing how we can also develop that protective side right being being a protector for ourself and others and then in those safe environments creating that protective environment to connect with others that we trust or that we consider like family or it's more personal where we can then share and connect emotionally so a great time of creating that 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 protective environment in order to start to draw out the emotions the feelings the past those softer personal elements of life within ourselves and also in those closer relationships or in those external environments where it is safe to do so so caring nurturing <clears throat> protecting great qualities to develop and any intentions around these kinds of things <clears throat> or again even literal things like home and family personal life uh, is a great way of working with this new lunar cycle so the aspects here is we still have that opposition to pluto of course um, usually we use about a 10 degree orb for oppositions and so even though it is not that close again it's about eight degrees and 30 minutes uh, away which is a very loose opposition um, still nonetheless it's i think a good time of still facing fears and empowering ourselves. and this was very strong during the last full moon so two weeks ago we had the full moon very closely conjunct that pluto and uh, that was exposing a lot of the fears and you know deeper energies of life and the shadow of life to be aware of it to be embraced right to be redeemed um, so now it's still in effect of course um, and so you know even though it's waning it's still great to set any intentions around um, you know diving deep with ourself again in this case with pluto maybe involving you know deep stuff like wounds traumas um, uh, fears seeing what we're still in bondage to as we're always you know in bondage uh, to things in the sense of you know we're still physical beings and we always have you know this these fears and things to move through so diving deep psychologically diving deep emotionally uh, in order to bring up these things to be illuminated right opposition still is about illuminating this stuff and so great to be aware of what's holding us back what our fears are and in this way it becomes then more conscious and thus easier and more healthfully able to be moved through right and empowered through and so pluto is very much about not only being aware of the deeper world but in that way reclaiming our power so these things these fears these inhibitions have less of an effect on us we're more aware of them and thus we can move through them and thus become more empowered and transformed and more whole as a true self and so anything around this uh, still good to be incorporated although again it's not that strong i think being in such a loose orb uh, at this point of the year what i think is a stronger energy though is a trine up to jupiter and uh, jupiter going uh, station retrograde here uh, during the time of the new moon so in this case, uh, it's great to, 
you know, while there's a lot of this watery energy and personal energy being developed, to be open-minded, to expand the mental and literal horizons a bit. And this is, of course, a trine with water signs with Jupiter and Pisces. And so Jupiter this year has already been helping us gain a new perspective on what we need on a soul level. So we talk about cancer in terms of the soul being more of, as you can see, the, the roots, the foundations, the past, that kind of soul. Pisces, we would say, is perhaps the more spiritual soul. This is the connection to life itself, the connection to everything, to the ethers, to the space, to the oceans of life, if you will, the ethers, right, and connecting to that. So it's a great time for connecting to our spiritual development in this sense and gaining a new perspective about really what our soul needs, what our spiritual life needs, our spiritual self needs in the sense of, you know, what's going to lead to more spiritual peace and well-being here. So Jupiter is gaining now a new perspective shift on all this with him going retrograde for about the next four months. Happens every year, very common, but still a good time to gain a new perspective shift on life in general. And I think collectively, specifically on, again, what it is our soul needs, what is soul fulfilling in our life, and perhaps quite literally, how can we bring in more peace and well-being in our life with these new perspectives. Okay, but it's very nice to see Jupiter, the planet of expansion, of adventure, of open-mindedness, supporting this new moon. All right, so that is all. I think that is the most important stuff here with this new moon. There's no dispositor, no ruler of the new moon uh, other than the moon itself. The moon rules cancer being already part of the new moon just double emphasizes, of course, all Cancerian new moons being very much about connecting to that moon energy of the inner, the feelings, the roots. Good to listen this lunar month to the moon, to our feelings, to the cycle of the moon because it's usually quite strong during Cancerian time periods because the moon is playing such a large role, again, because the moon rules Cancer, it's associated with it. So paying attention this lunar month when the moon's in Leo next, which will be uh, Friday onwards for the weekend, you know, expressing ourself, playfulness, and Virgo and onwards. And of course, in the weekly videos, <clears throat> I talk about all these sign changes. So being more receptive to the moon in general, I think it's great, uh, this lunar cycle. But all in all, Cancer the Crab, foundations, roots, listening right now to what is emerging here, what is life helping us develop more to on that personal level, and of course, setting intentions to do that as well. Great to dive deep, be aware of that reflection of the opposition of the deeper world with Pluto. How can we bridge the gap, redeem, reconnect with um, that deeper self, which then leads to personal transformation and empowerment. And the trine to Jupiter, giving us that new perspective shift, uh, especially about what we need on a soul level. And maybe some of these ideals, you know, in terms of things we're optimistic about, we can start to look at differently and see really what our soul needs in this sense. All right, so everyone have a fantastic new moon. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click the like button if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're not yet signed up for MTZ Insiders, it is a free newsletter where you do get these videos released first before YouTube and extra content not normally released on YouTube. But have a great new moon, everyone. Thank you again for all of your support. And I'll see you all next time for the next astrology forecast. Take care.